सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म सिद्धि चैप्टर टू वर्स नंबर हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन एट द बॉटम उत्पत्ति स्थिति नाशेशु यो वगत के वर्तते जगतो विकाराय जगतो विका विकारया वे तमस्मी नश्वर सुरेश्वराचार्य रिफ्यूटिंग दि अनात्मा थ्रू युक्ति श्रुति युक्ति अनुभव अनात्मा इज दैट हुच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ त्रिपुटी त्रिपुटी मीन्स प्रमाता प्रमाण एंड प्रमेय कर्म व्यवहार ज्ञान व्यवहार वी डू विद वर्ल्ड विदउट द मैंड दि प्रमाता ई दि individual cannot do any interaction with prameyam the object subject is i the subject am the subject only from the standpoint of object prameyam prameyam the object is also have the status of object only when there is subject the pramata therefore all of them are come under jadam inert matter triputi the mind with pramata pramanam prameyam is come under jadam matter it cannot have individual independent existence of its own therefore in this verse i the atma am ever evident in spite of this srishti sthiti laya utpatti sthiti nasheshu even though the nama roopa prapancha has got birth death and sustenance avagati एव वर्तते यहा अवगति ही एव वर्तते अवगति मीन्स चैतन्यम एलोन ईज देर नथिंग एल्स इज देर ओनली चैतन्यम ईज देर अवगति एव वर्तते उत्पत्ति स्थिति लय ऑल ऑफ वाट न जगत दिस यूनिवर्स जगत उत्पत्ति जगत स्थिति जगत नाश when all these are going on avagati ai the atma chaitanyam avikaraya avehi may you understand avehi means may you claim understand changelessly ai the sakshi am alone i am there like that you have to understand chaitanya rupena अहम अस्मी तम साक्षिण अहमस्मी अवेहि मे यू नो वेन एवर यू से ऐ एम आनंदस्वूप दट ईज बिलॉंग टू दि साक्षी चैतन्य दि साक्षी चैतन्य एम आत्मस्वूपम ऐ एम आलवेज available without any disturbance the disturbances are there bound to be there in anatma the mind 
even gnani's mind also will have fluctuations gnani's mind also will have um, all emotional upsets bound to be there gnani anyone can work for the improvement of the mind even bhagavan also in that maya saitam brahma in that mind also bhagavan's mind also there are lot of changes of navarasas they are all bound to be there you cannot avoid therefore mind fluctuation is not my fluctuation mind disturbance is not my disturbance mind is always uh, available as uh, with positive and negative emotions are bound to be there so manashanti i should not consider it as uh, primary moksha manashanti whether there is a mental peace or not i the sakshi chaitanyam am asangaha i am not touched by this um, mental emotions fluctuations that is uh, i am free from all fluctuations that is the understanding therefore anatma means crystallized ignorance triputi comes under anatma triputi vyavahara as long as you are in that triputi world it is the interaction is going on but never give an importance or reality to that that can be avoided so asanga atma rupena avasthanam eva mokshaha what do you mean by liberation i am atma remaining as asangaha asanga avasthanam therefore i am asanga atma rupena avasthana that is real moksha in all fluctuations that's why sthiti utpatti nasha uh, shows that vikara changes fluctuations all shad vikaras of jagataha I mean including body mind complex also all these are bound to be there but uh, you understand tam sakshinam aham iti avehi i the sakshi am changeless one na nashwaram aham na nashwaram i am not the perishing body mind complex nashwaram na aham asmi you can say nashwaram aham na avehi i am perishable body mind Uh, perishable body changing mind may you not uh, claim like that nashwaram na avehi or na nashwaram aham i am not perishable i am in the imperishable atman this is uh, the meaning of 111 triple 1 now we will go to the next shloka introduction that is um, 1 1 12 introduction i will read that portion afterwards uh, i will give the meaning <coughs> swata siddham atma chaitanya pratibimbita avicharita siddhika atmanava bodha avabodhotha इतरेतर स्वभापेक्ष सिद्ध स्वत असिधे अनात्म दैतेन्द्रियजाल से अनात्मिथ्यात्म निश्चय इज कंटिन्ूड कंटिन्ूड इन दिस् पोर्शन आलो in this uh, shloka sureshwar acharya negating the triputi which is in the form of gnana vyavahara gnana vyavahara means when you use the gnana indriyas 
that is called jnana vyavahara hearing seeing and smelling touching all these are all come under jnana vyavahara so what are the descriptions of anatma why i have to negate this anatma why i have to look at this anatma as mithya because of these reasons that is if it is real you cannot uh, negate it if anatma is real you cannot negate it if it is uh, not there anatma is not there you need not negate two points anatma triputi is uh, Uh, real you cannot negate if triputi is uh, not there you need not negate this world whole world comes under triputi pramata pramanam prameyam world is prameyam i the pramata mind subject use the pramanam sense organs for interaction other than this there is nothing else in this world pramata pramanam prameyam if they are real jagat is real for you it is appearing because of what it is like indra jalam indra jalasya look at the second line page number um, 87 1112 introduction second line ద్వైత ఇంద్రజాలస్య ద్వైత మీన్స్ డ్యువాలిటీ దిస్ డ్యువాలిటీ డ్యువల్ వర్ల్డ్ విచ్ ఈస్ అప్పియరింగ్ ఇన్ మెనీ ఫార్మ్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇంద్రజాలం ఇంద్రజాలం మీన్స్ మ్యాజిక్ జస్ట్ యాజ్ ద మ్యాజిక్ షో యూ సీ ద హోల్ వర్ల్డ్ ఈజ్ లైక్ అనదర్ బిగ్ మ్యాజిక్ షో భగవాన్ ఈజ్ ద మ్యూజిషియన్ దాట్ మ్యూజిషియన్ భగవాన్ షోయింగ్ దిస్ మ్యాజిక్ షో we are taking this magic show as real indra jalasya dvaita indriya jalasya what is the description of this world how can you say indra jalavat it is like indra jalam magic and because of these descriptions of anatma you can see so three four descriptions are given number 1 first line you see swatha siddha swatha సిద్ధాత్మ చైతన్య ప్రతిబింబిత ది వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ దిస్ కాంపౌండ్ వర్డ్స్ బ్యూటిఫుల్లీ ఆచార్య ప్రజెంట్స్ ఫస్ట్ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ ఆఫ్ అనాత్మ ఈజ్ దిస్ వాట్ ఈజ్ దాట్ దిస్ హోల్ వర్ల్డ్ ఈజ్ ప్రతిబింబిత రిఫ్లెక్షన్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ లైక్ ఇన్ దక్షిణామూర్తి స్తోత్రం వేసా విశ్వం దర్పణ దృశ్యమాన నగరి తుల్యం నిజాంతర్గతం పశ్యన్నాత్మని మాయయ బహిరివు భూతం యథా నిద్రయ విశ్వం దర్పణ దర్పణ ద మిర్రర్ సో ద హోల్ వర్ల్డ్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఎ రిఫ్లెక్షన్ వర్ల్డ్ ఈజ్ కంపేర్ టు ఎ రిఫ్లెక్షన్ this world prativimbita only means appearance prativimbita means appearance mysterious appearance mirror and reflected face reflected face in the mirror you never count as another face it is unreal only even though it appears reflection cannot be counted that we know similarly the whole world comes under mirror swata siddha atma darpanam in that atma darpanam world is reflecting vishwam darpana drishyamanam see the whole world is reflecting in atma atma is like a mirror world is like a reflection in that mirror therefore similarly world exists to uh, as good as a reflection it is our misconception 
that reflection looking at the world as real is our misconception. So therefore, I empower the world, I enter the world and I struggle in the world, I ask Bhagawan save me from this world. Like a dreamer, after praying to the Lord, Oh Lord, may I not get any bad dreams. And thinking that and go to sleep. And creating the dream and uh, start uh, worrying, struggling mm, in the dream. I only created, I am the creator of my dream and I become a creature in my own dream, in my created dream. Similarly, here also, I the Atma am giving the reflection capacity to the world to reflect in me and I identify with the body-mind complex and I struggle and ask Bhagavan, please save me. Oh God, save me. Uh, this is, I try to escape from the world problems. So, that's why the world is always having a Prashna Rupa. Vidyarani Swami says in um, Panchadashi, uh, whole world is a Prashna Rupa. Means always question will be there. What is this? What is this? What is this? And you ask uh, so many things. Hmm? What is this? And I don't know. What is this? And I don't know. Like that, always Prashna Rupa. You cannot uh, understand the whole world. People complain always, why I am forgetting? What is this I am not knowing? Why like this? All this Prashna Rupa. Therefore, I, the Atma, am there always unresolved observer I am by looking at the uh, resolved entities and emerging entities. Therefore, in Dvaita and Vishishta Dvaita also, they take this Mithya Prapancha. Mithya means uh, unreal they take. Mithya means not unreal actually. Seemingly real is called Mithya. People forget this. However much you say, how many times we say it is natural to forget. Isishta Dvaitin, Dvaitins, all Madhvacharya Matam, Ramanuja Acharya Matam, what they do, what they are telling. We the Vedantins are telling whole world is Mithya, whole world is unreal. How can it be unreal? It is not unreal. Unreal in the sense, it has got a borrowed existence. That is the point they have to understand. It has got a borrowed existence. That is the meaning of Mithya. Not that it is uh, not there means not totally non-existent. If it is totally non-existent, uh, you need not negate that. You cannot negate. If it is uh, totally real, you, can need not, you cannot negate. If it is totally not there, you need not negate. Therefore, world comes under Mithya means what? It is neither Sat nor Asat. It is Sada Sat Vilakshana. It is different from Sat, different from Asat. Sada Sat Vilakshana means uh, Anirvachaniyam, inexplicable. It is seemingly appearing, experientially there, factually not there, independently not there is the meaning of Mithya. But uh, they misunderstand this Mithya word. Dvaitins and Vishishta Dvaitins. Oh, what is real? And only Vishnu is real. Vishnu, whole world is uh, uh, unreal when we say they take it as only Vishnu is real. Other than Vishnu, nothing is real like that they take. Only Vishnu is real. Other than Vishnu, nothing is real they say. That is not the meaning Vedantin says. Advaitin says, Mithya means seemingly real. It is not uh, experientially unreal. Experientially there. But uh, 
existentiality real existence is not there it has got a borrowed existence in, in short we say whatever has got borrowed existence is mithya pramata pramanam prameyam all are having borrowed existence that is why pratibimba my reflected face has got borrowed existence or not is it real it is borrowing from me the original face similarly from atma alone this whole world is appearing so all gnana vyavahara is negated here first description of anatma svatasiddhatma atma is that which is svatasiddham independently existing that chaitanya pratibimbita this whole world is chaitanya pratibimbam the reflection of chaitanya which chaitanya means independently existing that is what first line you look into that swata siddha that which is independently there what is that atma chaitanya that atma chaitanya pratibimbita jagat indra jalavat it is the reflection of atma chaitanya therefore the reflection world need not be counted number 1 description <clears throat> number 2 um, avicharita siddha siddhika second description of anatma avicharita siddhika as long as you don't enquire you don't think so much time it will exist the moment you enquire into that you it will disappear the moment you start enquiring analyzing it will disappear avicharita means non enquiry as long as you are not doing an enquiry hmm? siddhika this world is available the moment you start you enquire the nature of this anatma prapancha it disappears disappears means it loses its reality this is second description then atma anavabodha anavabodhotha this whole world is emerging out when atma anavabodha because of self ignorance that is why avidya is ignorance is um, crystallized you no know, crystallized uh, once you are in this world what is nothing but it is a crystallized ignorance anatma is a crystallized ignorance means what strong confirmed confounded that type of uh, misconception that is why anava bodha means uh, not uh, knowing the real nature uttha means it is uh, born out of uh, self ignorance the world is real this notion this thought is born out of self ignorance and the atma anava bodha uttha this is third description of what anatma prapancha then th- fourth description is what itare tara swabhava apeksha siddhatvad the whole world is there and i the observer of this world both are interdependent that means pramata and pramanam pramata is not there prameyam siddhi is not possible prameya is not there pramata is not a pramata knower is a knower when a known object is there known is a known when the knower is there that is why itare tara mutual dependency for their own existence between the pramata and prama prameyam subject and object k 
cannot have vyavahara without pramanam. Ice pramanam is required to be as a seer. I the pramata am seer, onlooker of what so and so. I see the flowers. This flower I see. So flower is prameyam. The jasmine flower is a prameyam. I am the pramata knower of the jasmine flower, seer, smeller. I smell this flower. So what I am using? Jnana indriyams. Eyes are looking at the flower. I get the flower knowledge. Jnana vyavahara. If I keep near the nose, smell comes. <clears throat> if that smell comes, what this jnana indriyam is used. I get a flower knowledge. It is jasmine flower smell knowledge. Jnana vyavahara. When I make use of Jnana Indriyam, Jnana Vyavahara. So, this flower is depending, to talk about this flower as flower, depending upon my eyes, correct? And uh, I the Pramata to know the flower, my I the knower, depending upon the flower, Prameyam, I the Pramata knower is depending upon the flowers Prameyam to know the flower. So Pramata is depending upon Prameyam, Prameyam depending upon Pramata for its existence, Pramata depending upon Pramanam, Pramanam is a Pramanam when the Pramata Prameyam are there. If I the Pramata am not there, who can use the eyes, who can use the nose? That is why itare tara apeksha. Itare tara swabhava apeksha. There is swabhava. What is the swabhava? Seeing power is the swabhava of the eyes. Smelling power is the swabhava of the ear, nose. Hearing power is the swabhava of the ears. Like that, that swabhava. Eyes cannot see the smell. Uh, nose cannot see the color. It has got its own swabhava. Apeksha means expecting that uh, uh, corresponding activity of that jnana, indriyam, and depending upon the object and the subject. Without thinking all this we do from morning to till night this vyavahara. But none of us think this way. Pramata, I am pramayam, the world objects. Uh, I am using Pramanam. Why to know Swamini? We are doing interaction, enjoying. Nice flower, enjoy the smell. Hmm? You can put Bhagavan, you can wear it. So like that people talk. Uh, and sweet is there. Enjoy it. Why to think about it is a Pramayam. My nose is smelling and my tongue is tasting. What for all these things? You know? Like that people think, my dear, you are, when you are using the subject, object, instrument, you are giving reality to that anātmā and the fluctuations happening in that anātmā, turbulence take place, you are also fluctuate, you are also disturbed. So that's why when disturbance comes only, why I am getting disturbance, you ask. Because you never question, you never ask these questions. Who is this person getting disturbance? Because of what I am getting disturbance? If as so and so I am getting a disturbance, what is that exactly? Ah, the question and the disturbance say varad. Because of non-thinking, that's why avicharita siddhatvat said. So, itare itare svabhava apeksha siddhatvat. This is fourth description of anatma. Therefore, svatahascha asiddhehe. Since it is not available independently, 
इट इज नाट अवेलेबल इंडिपेडेंटली स्वतः च असिधे अनात्म अनात्म मीन दिस प्रपंच से त्रिपुटी अनात्म असिधे इट इज नाट अवेलेबल इट इज नाट अवेलेबल इंडिपेडेंटली अनात्मा स्वतः अंत अनात्म बै इट से इंडिपेडेंटली इज नाट अवेलेबल अनात्म द्वैत इंद्रजाल से दिस इज लाइक ए मैजि बिकाज ऑफ आल दीज रीजन अविचारित बुद्धि ये बहुव्रेहि अविचारित बुद्धींद्रिय अविचारित द सेकंड डिस्क्रिप्शन अविचारित सिद्धिका नाउ विल रीड द श्लोका न स्वयं स्वस्य नानात्वं नावगत्यात्मनायत नो भाभ्यामप्यतिम अद्वैत द्वैत बाधया यिन्स All these above descriptions of anatma, because of those descriptions, swasya nanatvam. Swasya means anatma na. Anatma na ha nanatvam means plurality. Swayam na siddham. It is not. Uh, available by itself independently by itself matter doesn't exist separate of atma swayam na siddham it does not available independently it doesn't have independent existence triputi atma sri there is uh, um, anatma nanatvam uh, the plurality is not independently existing i the atma i am lending existence consciousness to every nama roopa in the prapancha anatma prapancha this is one point atma cannot anatma cannot separately exist without atma number 1 nor second one avagatyatmana na siddham matter does not exist as identical with atma avagati means avagatyatmana means chaitanya atma avagati means chaitanya चैतन्यात्मा इट कैन नॉट बी अवेलेबल एज चैतन्य आत्मा आइडेंटिकल विथ आत्मा इट कैन नॉट बी मैटर अनात्मा मैटर कैन नॉट बी आइडेंटिकल विथ आत्मा अनात्मा फर्स्ट पॉइंट अनात्मा डजेंट एक्जिस्ट सपरेट फ्रॉम आत्मा द स्वस्य नानात्व स्वयं न सिद्धम मीन्स अनात्मा डजेंट एक्जिस्ट सपरेट फ्रम आत्मा देन सेकेंड वन अवगत्यात्मना सिद्धम दिस अनात्मा मैटर डजेंट एक्जिस्ट ईडेटिकल विथ विथ कॉन्शियस्नेस अवगत्यात्मना मीन्स कॉन्शियस्नेस इट इज नॉट ईडेटिकल विथ कॉन्शियस्नेस न उभाभ्याम अभी न उभाभ्याम अभी इट इज नेदर डिफरेंट नार ईडेटिकल इफ यू कंबाइन बोथ भेद एंड अभेद भेद मीन्स डिफरेंट अभेद मीन्स नॉन डिफरेंट सो यू कैन नॉन डिफरेंट मीन्स ईडेटिकल यू कैन नाट से इट इज डिफरेंट आलो अनात्मा इज डिफरेंट फ्रम आत्मा आलो यू कैन नाट से यू कैन नाट से 
anātmā is identical with ātmā also, you cannot say. And that's why in Viveka Chudāmani, we say, sannāpya sannāpya bhayātmika no, bhinnāpya bhinnāpya bhayātmika no, sāngāpya nangāpya bhayātmika no, mahādbhuta nirvachaniya rūpā. Therefore, na ubhābhyāṁ api siddham. That siddham has to be supplied three places. Svasya nānātpam svayam na siddham. Number one. Second statement, second sentence. Avagatyātmana na siddham. Third statement. Na ubhābhyāṁ api siddham. It cannot uh, be available. Anātmā is not uh, neither identical nor different from the Self. That is. Then what is the conclusion final? Advaitam dvaita bādhaya. Dvaita bādhaya. Bādha means not Tamil bādha or Telugu bādha. Here bādha means negation. By the negation of Dvaitam, Dvaita Vādhaya, Advaitam Siddham. So Siddham you can supply now again four times you can use Siddham. Finally we can accomplish that Advaitam only by negating Anātma Dvaita Prapancha. Dvaita Vādhaya, Dvaita Anātma Vādhaya, Advaitam Siddham. This is Yukti Dwara Jnana Vyavahara Nishedaha Yuktya Anatmanah Mithyatpa Nishchayaha That means Jnana Vyavahara is negated. Even tangibility, you say in Swami, is tangibly available, tangibly available. Whole world, my body is tangible, visible, appearing. <laughs> we say tangible, um, maya. It is a, a tangibly, its tangibility is a myth. Its a tangibility is a myth. Actually speaking, there is no such an object at all. Whatever you use the object name, if you enquire into it, it is not there. And that is why sanmulam anvichya, we say. Sanmulam anvichya. With this uh, one one to over. Uh, next uh, shloka 113 introduction. Yathoktartha pratipatra pratipatra dhridhim ne dhridhim ne shrutyudaharano panyasaham. Now shruti support. With yukti support, jnana vevahara is negated. Now, with uh, Shruti support, Karma Vyavahara Triputi also negated. Shruti Pramana also talking the same thing only. Yathokta means in 112, as said above, Yathokta Pratipati, the knowledge, that confirmation what we have received dradhimne for the confirmation for reinforcement of that knowledge which is given in the above said shloka 112 sorry 112 or 112 dradhimne dradhiman shabdaha pullingaha dradhiman shabdaha Chaturthi Vivakti Ekavachana. Dhradimini, for the sake of confirmation. Shruti Udaharana. Shruti statements, vakyams. Udaharana means quotations. Reinforcement. For the sake of reinforcement, we, I take, Suresh Vrachari telling, I will take. Shruti Udaharana, quotation from the um, Upanishads. Upanyasaha means presentation. I'll present 
the Shruti Vakyams to establish this Anatma is Mithya to reinforce the Jnana Vyavahara Dwara, Jnana Vyavahara of Anatma is Mithya. Now through Karma Vyavahara also it is Mithya I can establish through Shruti support also. I will read this sloka. Nityavagati Rupatvat Karakadirna Chatmanaha Asthulam Neti Neti Ti Najayata Itishrutihi Nitya Avagati Rupatvat Atma is ever available in the form of I am, I am, I am, Nitya Avagati. Avagati means awareness, consciousness. Chaitanya Rupena Ityarthaha. Dvaitam Nasti Advaitam Eva Asti. Dvaitam Nasti said through the Yukti. Now, um, Kriya Karaka Karma Phalam Api Nasti. Karma Vyavahara also not there. What are the Upanishadic statement? Um, asthulam. First line, Karakade Nachatmanaha. That I will explain later. Shruti says, Asthulam. Brihadaranyaka Upanishad quotation from 388. Akshara Brahmanam. Third chapter, eighth Brahmanam, eighth mantra. Very big mantra. Asthulam, Ananu, Akhraswam, Adirkham, Alohitam, Achayam. Like that it go on and on. Murta, Murta, Brahmanam, Neti, Neti, Iti. This is also from Brihadaranyaka. Neti, Neti. Nirguna Nirvikara Atma Neti Neti. It comes in four places. Uh, twenty-three negations. Asthula Mananu. Like that it goes twenty-three na names given to negate the Anatma. Atma nature is given. Uh, what is uh, Asthulam is Anatma. What is asthulam is atma, like that uh, 23 negations are totally given. Neti neti for murta negation 1, 2 neti are there, I already told you. One neti for uh, um, murta negation, murta means uh, what has got a form. Murta negation, sthula sharira, sthula prapancha negation, one neti. Then second neti is for sukshma prapancha and sukshma sharira neti. Another amurta prapancha. Amurta means not visible. Sukshma and karana sharira, karana prapancha, sukshma prapancha. That is amurta prapancha, another neti. Neti neti iti. This is second quotation, shruti quotation, vridharnika. Then third quotation from um, Kathopanishad, 1 to 18, first chapter, second valley, 18th mantra. Na jayate mriyate vavipaschit nayam kutaschinna babhuva kaschit ajo nitya shashvato yam puranaha Na hanyate hanyamane sharire. Ramadharmaraja tells the nature of Atma. Na jayata is there because of Sandhi rule. You have to say na jayate. Na jayate iti shrutihi. This is the shruti quotation. Atma is birthless. Anatma has got birth. Hmm? 
जायते अस्ति वर्धते विपरिणमते अपक्षीयते विनश्यति बट आत्मा इज बर्थलेस देर फोर डेथलेस देर फोर अज नित्य शाश्वत पुराण अजो नित्य शाश्वत पुराण न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे इन भगवद गीता आलसो वी सा दैट सो हाउ दि उपनिषत् मंत्रास प्रेजेंट ऑल दि नेचर ऑफ आत्मा इट ईज कर्म व्यवहार निगेशन गिवेन कारकादी न आत्मन न भवती कारकादी आत्मन न भवती कारकादी मीन्स वाट हियर इज अ टेक्निकल पॉइंट क्रिया कारक फल ई टोल यू मेनी टाइम्स बट विल फर्गेट ई की फर्गेटिंग से फोर ई रिमैंड मै सेलफ कारकादी क्रिया कारक फल आत्मा ईज क्रिया कारक फल विलक्षण रिता मीन्स क्रिया मीन्स कर्म एक्शन कारक मीन्स एक्सरी सब्जेक्ट आबजेक्ट कर्तकारक कर्म कारक कर्णकारक अपादानक अधिकरणकारक लाइक दैट ऑल दीज का संप्रदान कारक फस्ट के सिक्स्थ के सवेन्थ के आल कम्स अंडर कारका इन बिटवी आल फर् दी कारका देर इज वन वेर्ब क्रियाकारक षी विभक्ति क्रियाकारक सो ऐ सबजेक्ट सीयिंग कर्म क्रिया स्मेलिंग क्रिया वाट ऐम स्मेलिंग वाट ऐम सीयिंग इज कॉल कर्म आबजेक्ट आफ सीयिंग वेर ऐम सीयिंग हौ ऐम सीयिंग आल दीज कम्स अंडर लोकेशन अधिकरण and um, where i am seeing how i am seeing from what i am seeing like that all this comes under karaka adi padat karakaadi karakaadi adi padat phalam result suppose i see this flower what is phalam i get the knowledge of this flower it is white from color it smell it color everything i know that is called phalam so every interaction has got karma vyavahara has got phalam this is called karma vyavahara karma vyavahara means karma indriyas are also used for karma vyavahara jnana vyavahara se ki gnana indriyam triputi pramata pramanam prameyam par karma indriyas se ki karta karma karanam triputi karta karma karanam karta doer कर्म डूइंग एक्शन कारण द इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ एक्शन अनदर त्रिपुटी देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ त्रिपुटी ज्ञान व्यवहार त्रिपुटी कर्म व्यवहार त्रिपुटी बोथ आर् नाट देर इन द आत्मा दट ईज वाट से हियर आत्मन कारकादी दट मीन कर्म व्यवहार नवती टू बी सप्लाइड यू कैन सप्लाइ आत्मना पर आत्मा देर इज नो क्रिया कारक एंड फल मीन कर्म व्यवहार टोटली नेगेटेड प्रमाता प्रमाण प्रमेय त्रिपुटी विलक्षण ज्ञान व्यवहार विलक्षण अहम सिमिलरली क्रिया कारक फल रहित आत्मा अहम कर्म व्यवहार रहित अहम सब्जेक्ट आबजेक्ट आल डिविशन आर् नाट देर इन मी देर फोर ई एम फ्री फ्रम ज्ञान व्यवहार कर्म व्यवहार हू एवर डूइंग ज्ञान व्यवहार एंड कर्म व्यवहार ईज वाट अनात्मा अनात्मा एलोन ईज डूइंग नो बडी ईज डूइंग ई एम नेदर डूअर नार नोवर ई एम द साक्षी आफ द 
doing job and knowing job <laughs> that is the idea with this uh, 113 also over now just i introduced 114 114 that means 114 sarvasyasya Swayam Siddhum Ashakyatvat Atma Siddhischa Anupade Yatvat Now Sureshwara Acharya is in concluding mood. Finally what is we have established in the Atma is Satyam Anatma is Mithya I the Atma am Satyam Nityam Anatma is Anrutam Mithya Anityam. So Sarvasya, Sarvasyasya Grahakadehe. All these Grahakadehe means again Pramata, Pramanam, Prameyam. All of them, Dvai, they belong to which Prapancha? Only one Prapancha is there, Dvaita Prapancha. Dual word, dual means dvaita means duality of this world which is appearing in different ways. Dvaita prapanchasya atma anavabodha. Same idea. This uh, why people are giving reality to this world, it is real, real, and only simple one reason that is uh, self ignorance. Bodha means Jnanam, Ava Bodha means also Jnanam, Ava plus Buddha Dhat, Na Ava Bodha or Nava Bodha, not knowing the self, their nature, their real nature. That means once you miss the real nature, you are taking something unreal nature, that is Grahaka the Upadhanam. Therefore, anava bodha matra upadhanas, that is the material cause. Upadhana means what? Cause. Taking to that self-ignorance and not knowing that you are self-ignorant. And uh, looking at that people who talk about this knowledge, and you consider these people are all jobless, they do not know how to achieve anything. Hmm? They are not uh, productive in the create in this uh, society. Hmm? Taking a sannyasa, what they are doing and because their might is right, they are majority. Hmm? Majority people are self ignorance. Therefore, uh, only self knowledge, wise people are very less. That is why people never give value for wise people because they are very, very less. How is it possible? When I give a talks in put in YouTube also. Oh, not on YouTube, one talk I gave about the unreality of the world uh, and very advanced subject and one person write a letter you know in the chat they, they give they write their opinion uh, we don't look into all those opinions but one person I read who will understand this nobody can understand this you know. so like that the person come to conclusion because he is not able to understand. That is why he thinks nobody can understand because I don't understand therefore nobody can understand. Like that uh, people conform and confound. Everybody thinks an ignorant person look at other person also ignorant only. Hmm? He doesn't know because I don't know therefore he also doesn't know. That much ignorance. Therefore Atma Anava Bodha Matra Upadhanasya Swayam Sedhum Ashakyatvad This we will see in the second line I will explain in the next class. Om Pur Namadah Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhjona Maha Harihi Om